what went into the Matei and Belpedio call-ups and Andrea going? The way they're playing down there. They're the better ones, uh, so we call them up. Will both of them play? One of them play tonight? One of them will play. Not sure who. With regards to Andre, I know you said for, for quite a while that you've liked some things. He's obviously made some mistakes. What was, was the final, I guess, contributing factor to why you decided he needed to go down to play? It's long? too much. It's too much for him right now. The, the speed of it, uh, how quick you have to make decisions. Um, I think the size of the rink. Uh, which which comes into play how quickly you do have to play in the NHL, and you, you just weigh it out: is is this good for him right now? When we felt it wasn't. Is this and, a scenario where you envision him staying down there for a while? I have no idea. I don't know where it goes from here, because I don't know how he's going to play down there. But uh, uh, it, this isn't a negative thing. This is what we're going to do. It's going to happen to other people, too, I'm sure, along the way this year. Uh, instead of playing him 8, 10, 11 minutes, he'll play 20-plus down there. It's so important as far as developing players. That's what I was going to ask about that. Especially at that position, defense. That time frame, like being a third-pair guy playing 11, 12 minutes, how is that different from being a top-pair guy in the AHL in terms of how they develop? Oh, God. It, 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 to, to, be, to play defense in the National Hockey League and play 20-plus minutes, that, that, that is the hardest job out of all the positions. Uh, uh, Goaltending is the most important. Defense is the hardest. And, uh, you know, with Andre, he's, and he, he made some really good plays, too, uh, as I've said all along here. But just to play those few minutes and have the mistakes that were going, just, just the struggles that were going on in just those few minutes, it does not help. And uh, so we, we, want to get, we want to get ahead of this right away because we think he has a future. What have you thought of Cam's game so far? Do you expect that he'll be able to easily move past what happened late in the third period? Cam York? Cam York, yeah. Uh, you get me on a bad day because it just, it's just not that mistake in that game. I thought it was a struggle for him right away uh, in that game. But I think he's given us some good minutes early in the season, too. Inconsistent, uh, which is to be expected. He's still very young, uh, playing on a top pair, uh, playing 20-plus minutes. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it, it's still a process with him. But the, 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 the mistake he makes, and I, and I, and I do, I think it's, it's a – he makes the mistake, but this is where our team has to understand, and it's a great time to teach. We're trying to create more offense this year, and we have. We have guys making plays, and I'm really encouraged as far as the mindset of trying to make more offensive plays. But you can't do it at that time. You can't force a play, try to beat someone uh, at that time when – we were on our heels, then we gathered ourselves in that period. We, we were actually okay at that time. There, he could have done any other play except the one he did. And, uh, um, but that, that's, that's how he's going to learn. And, and for me, it's a, it's a little bit of a, a scope of how we're going to teach us trying to create more offense. There has to be some situational play in your mind, too, just to keep it simple. And he's gotten that. You know, he, you've seen him trying to create more offense. And, and Yorkie? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I've seen him very aggressive uh, with his legs, skating, uh, very aggressive, really encouraging. Uh, and again, you get me on a bad morning. It's after it where I, I just didn't think he played well at all in that game against Vegas. Yeah. It's going to happen though. It's you going to happen. On Risto Linen, um, Nothing on Risto. Up, you called up two veteran guys. I didn't know if that had anything to do with maybe nope. Risto's going to be out longer term. I have no idea. Do you have any idea? I guess you know when there might be clarity on Risto, or is this going to be like a, a pretty nebulous thing for a while? This, this is uh, yes. If that's the word you want to use. We'll use that. <laughs> yes. Um, with the forward lines, any changes up there? No. So Frost is going to. Frosty's out. Is Carter in net for you guys? Carter is in net. Does this, with regards to how the defense shakes out now? Does this mean that Zamula is going to be an every night guy for the foreseeable future, or is he going to stay in a rotation? Uh, I have no idea what's going to Z Z has had ups and downs, had some ups and downs in that game, the Vegas game. Uh, against, we're, we're playing 22, 23 year old kids in big minutes, and we're probably playing against three of the top teams. Really good thing for us to see and for them to see. 
Um, Z is in the same boat as Andre as we go through here. If we feel it ends up being too much for him, uh, then we're going we're gonna to bring it back. If we feel it needs to be in Lehigh, we'll do it in Lehigh. Um, there, there's, there, I have no, I have no crystal ball as far as what we're going to, we just have to let, watch them play. And if we think we're hurting them and not developing them, that's when we have to make some decisions, whether it be set out games or go to the minors. Uh, I just don't know. I just don't have an answer until we go through that. Sticking with Z for a second. I was curious, we've talked about, you know, particularly I'm going back to, to Sandheim when he had that mistake in Ottawa and you said you loved the way he responded, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of the rest of the period and mm -hmm. the future games. Z makes that, that mistake where he gets beat on that play that ties the game. He mm -hmm. didn't see the ice for the rest mm -hmm. of the game. I guess, how do you balance as a coach where you want to reward the guys, they're playing tough against a really good team, when also you maybe want to see how he'll respond late in a game to yeah. making that mistake? And there's a third option there, and trying to win the game. And that's why Z's on the bench. We're, it, th that mistake wasn't the only mistake made. There were some struggles prior to that, that, that you live through and let them play, you keep playing. And, but then you, as a coaching staff, we have a little bit of responsibility to the other guys too, that we're trying to win a hockey game. And that's why that decision was made. Uh, I, I think Shawzy gave Z enough rope. Uh, there are a number of other situations that, that weren't good plays. And when you come down, now the game's tied, and we have 10 minutes left, I think. That's when we both talked, and we're going to four. And because we, we, we want to win, too. So, that, so there's, a number, there's three options there. So we, we went with a third option. We're trying to win the hockey game at that time. You mentioned, you mentioned Matei and Belpetti were the best two guys down there. That's why they're up here now. What were, what's the reports on Yinning, Grands, Adder, the three prospects you have down there? They, they're not ready. They're, they, as far as uh, Lappy, Danny, everybody talking, I haven't talked to Lappy, but with, with Danny talking to him, uh, Mac and all that, that uh, they have not played well enough to warrant uh, a call-up. And as much as we want uh, kids all the time, you got to do your work down there too. And uh, uh, because there's merit going on down there also. And so that, that's why we're at this. It, it, to me, it's a wake up call for, for a Ronnie Adder. It, it's a wake up call. You weren't called up. We, we need a defense when you weren't called up. So something must be going on. Uh, uh, Yinning, it, it, the whole thing. So the, the, these two are, are the, the ones that have played the best, uh, according to Lappy through Danny and, all, and the management. And they're going to get a chance here. Belpito will go tonight. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. John, with uh, Joel Faraby, Danny Breer mentioned before the season that he really liked how Joel had become more of a leader. He was having guys stay at his place, mm -hmm. be able to work out here. Have, have you noticed more of a leader? Played very well. I, I think that's that line of KT, him, and uh, Brinker has probably been our best offensive line. Uh, had multiple chances uh, through the trip. Uh, Beezer, I, I, I just look at Beezer's concentration. He's changing on time. Uh, things people don't notice in games, but I watch it. He, he is a concentrated athlete and uh, comes in much better shape, had a much better opportunity to, to be in better shape, more weight. Um, quite honestly, I think I need to find him more ice time. I think he's probably playing 16. I, I got to try to find a way in, in, a, in a kind of a different lineup this year because I have a lot of people I'm trying to find ice time too. I don't want to forget about him because I think he is, uh, he's prepared. I, I think he has shown us that. Thanks, okay. Thank you.